Hello friends, it is Monday. I'm making dinner. I'm making this chicken pasta, like one pan recipe, although I'm gonna have to use a pan and a casserole dish because the recipe calls for rotisserie chicken and I'm using like frozen plant-based chicken. So I'm just cooking it before I put it in so it's, it's not frozen <laughs> when it goes in the oven. So I just heated up, oh, well, the oven's preheating to 425, cooking the chicken, and I'm going to get everything else ready. We need pasta, I'm using the gluten-free penne from Target, we need the recipe also for chicken broth, I'm using vegetable broth, a pasta sauce. I just always get this tomato basil garlic from Target. And then seasoning, I'm using onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and you can use whatever you like. Um, so I'm just gonna grab the casserole dish. Kids can eat the same food that other kids can eat. They just have to do enough insulin to cover for it. Obviously, it's better if she does eat low carb foods, but she still needs carbs. Like, it's a balance, but she can eat any food that other kids can eat. It's just about managing it when she is eating it. So, just wanted to put that out there before I make her lunch because she wants peanut butter and jelly and that's what I'm going to make her for tomorrow.
Hi friends, it's Tuesday. I went to the thrift store with my mom earlier and that's pretty much all I did today. I just put like lotion on my face so I don't want my bangs on my face. I got this like gold bond eczema cream for my eye and then I started to get some like weird patches down here too and on my neck. So I ordered this gold bond eczema cream for a delivery from Walmart yesterday and I feel like it's already helping. So I like looked up pictures of eczema around people's eyes and it the pictures were very similar to what I have going on. So yeah, I feel like that's helping. Hopefully it continues to help. I'm just gonna, it says avoid contact with eyes. So I should maybe get like a specific eye cream. I just couldn't handle it anymore. Yesterday my eyes were like so sore and swollen that I couldn't even like open my eyes all the way. So I feel like it's helping already, but we'll see. I'm just like really careful to not actually get it in my eyes. Anyway, I just warmed up the food that we had last night, that pasta bake. I warmed that up for dinner again tonight. I'm just really trying to be good about eating the leftovers because I used to be really bad about that and it will definitely save some money and not waste food. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to make Ada's lunch for tomorrow. She wants some turkey and cheese wraps and then I think I'm gonna make some hard boiled eggs in my little egg cooker. I need to get a new one. This one's pretty, it's looking pretty rough, but it'll still make the egg. So that's what I'm going to do. naturally <laughs> parted um it's fine i'm not going anywhere and like i said yesterday i'm putting that cream on my face so i don't really want them like in my face anyway i'm just about to make something to eat for lunch i haven't eaten yet i just 
wasn't hungry. I think I'm just gonna make a salad and I'm having uh, Alani new. The Cosmic Stardust. So good. <laughs> It's my favorite. They've been out of it at the grocery store that I usually get it at. Like, they haven't had any Alani new at all. So, Walmart's app said they had it in stock, which they surprisingly did because they say a lot of things are in stock and they aren't. So, I got some from Walmart a couple of days ago. I should really just get like a six pack of them or however they come. Anyway, I'm gonna make a salad. I'm gonna clean up the house as per usual. I still haven't emptied the corner cabinet. I ordered a storage container from Walmart and apparently they were out of stock of all the storage containers so they didn't bring that so I'm just gonna try to fit it into one that I already have because I want to get it down because I really want to put some Valentine's Day stuff up but I feel like I can't because I still have the Christmas stuff in the corner cabinet so I want to get that down today I kind of just took it slow this morning I read some more of my book I'm really enjoying that book it is a little triggering so I feel like if you have trauma that you're you know working through or not working through either way if you have some trauma I feel like it can be a little triggering but I'm still I feel like I'm at a place right now where I just want to understand the trauma and work through it and so I'm kind of just pushing through the triggers I guess I mean I don't know it's a good read and I think it's gonna help me work through what I'm trying to work through so anyway on that note let's make a salad for lunch So I'm switching out my wax. I just switched out the tea light warmer and the ball warmers in the kitchen to this milk and honey cake from the bathing garden. I remember melting this last year, spring or summertime. I don't remember what I thought of it, but I figured I would try it again now that it's been sitting a little bit longer. The prompt for Kentucky Waxy Girls Melt Challenge today is melt a honey scented wax or an orange colored wax for Winnie the Pooh. Is it like Winnie the Pooh day or something? I don't know, but that's what the prompt is. So I pulled out this one and then in the living room, dining room entryway, I'm gonna put this warm pumpkin drizzle. I don't know that there's any honey in here, but it, it is an orange colored wax and I thought it would go nicely with the milk and honey cake scent and I want to melt this one because I did stick it in my club it smells really good to me on cold and I don't want to wait till fall to melt it to see if I want to keep it in my club so I'm gonna melt it today this has like pineapple and I forget what else it is in it I'm gonna see if there's any <laughs> clues on the label sometimes there are but it's mostly pumpkins and some leaves but I know there's fruits in this one and I definitely picked that up like I definitely smell the pineapple on cold and pineapples not my favorite but somehow I really like this one on cold so I'm excited to melt it and see how it is on warm and then I also pulled out Cleopatra's cream bath I think this one has honey in it I'm I'm not sure where I want to put this one because I remember it smells good like sometimes it smells good but I remember melting it these two cubes last year and I didn't love it like it smelled like dog urine to me <laughs> I'm gonna give it another try though and just like finish up this clam today since it does have honey in it and it is the honey day um, I might just stick it in the back room and see how I feel about it because I don't know I like it on cold right now people rave about this one I think it's a pretty popular one I just remember really not liking it when I melted those two pieces but I'm gonna just try to finish it up today anyway super excited to melt this one and see how it does I've heard good things so that's what I'm melting 
I just walked into the living room to check on warm pumpkin drizzle and immediately yes immediately yes that is so good <laughs> that will stay in my club I wonder I think it's still available like to add to club so I should be able to up the amount I have in there that is so good Oh man, I don't know if it's just giving me like the fall feels or I think it's just a really good scent. So I think I'm going to up either. I might just add one more bar. Oh man, that is so good. That will hopefully go into the fall winter catalog for 2023 because I love Okay, yep, warm pumpkin drizzle. Down in Georgia,
friends. It's Thursday. I just got a shower. Um, it's a dark, gloomy day today, so hopefully it's okay. I mean, I could turn the lights on, but I'd rather not. <laughs> um, I'm about to eat one of these oranges. Ooh, wow. Um, oh my gosh, my eye is twitching. It's been twitching for like three days straight. I'm about to eat one of these oranges. My mom got these for the kids at Trader Joe's, but I want to try one. They're like Cara Cara or Cara Cara oranges. I I don't know. They look really good. They're like pink, pinky red inside. So I'm going to eat one of these and I need to make a grocery list and do a pickup order from Target. I think I was going to wait until tomorrow to do... The grocery pickup but john won't eat the food that i got him i got him new food the other day and he will not eat it so i need to get him food like the food that i usually get him at target jonathan get down get down um yes john i'm going to go get your food in a little bit <laughs> he's just been yelling at us because he hates that food i don't know why it's like a organic salmon and brown rice or something I don't know but he won't eat it he puts it in his mouth and spits it out so I need to go get him the cheap cat food from Target okay my arm's starting to hurt I'll show you this orange once it's cut open well it's kind of hard to see but I promise it's it's like a pink reddish inside but I've been seeing them everywhere so they must be in season like I saw them at Lidl, Aldi, and Trader Joe's so they must be in season right now but I'm gonna try this. I feel just very thirsty so I think this will help with that. Yeah it's definitely like quenching my thirst. I will say that it kind of just tastes like a regular orange. Um, so I don't know what the difference is supposed to be, but it might be a little bit sweeter. I don't know. It's good. I'm just really, really thirsty and this is helping. Hi friends, it's Friday. I've gotten a few loads of laundry done. I've got the dishes done. I recorded my wax empties. And now I'm putting away all the groceries that I didn't put away last night. <laughs> like when I got home from grocery shopping, I put away all the cold stuff and now I'm putting away everything else because I just didn't feel like doing it last night. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to, again, clean up, do more laundry. So I think I'm going to turn on a cleaning video, Intentful Spaces just uploaded one today. So I think I'm just going to turn that on and clean for a little bit and then I will check back in with you guys. I finally got another storage container so I'm going to get this last bit of Christmas packed up. We'll see if it'll all fit in here, hopefully, because I just want to be done <laughs> with the Christmas stuff. I wanted to mention, if you see these little white balls all over the floor in my videos they're like snowballs like indoor snowballs my mom got for the kids and they ended up being john's toys because he stole them and now they're all over the house so that's what those white balls are let's see if this will all fit into this container <laughs> dinner I'm making this stir fry that Brit's cooking <laughs> shared surprise surprise I've been loving her recipes lately um, we had Domino's last night but so I'm getting this corn chicken cooked up boiling water for the pasta and then I have broccoli carrots and onions in here 
So I'm just steaming them and then I'm going to season these with, or no, I did season these with salt, pepper, just salt and pepper. The chicken I'm gonna season with pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. So that's what's going on right now and I'm gonna make the sauce for it. Um, I'll show you when I make the sauce, but I'm excited for this because it looks really good. <laughs> okay, so for the sauce, you're gonna do one cup of soy sauce, a fourth cup of honey. You're like, ew, why is it sticky on the bottom? Ugh, minced garlic. I think it's at a tablespoon, but like, do, uh, do you. And then cornstarch, two tablespoons of cornstarch, mix it all together. 